How y'all doing, brothers and sisters? Christ, I, I, I don't, I don't feel like sitting in a corner today. I feel like just walking around. I want to be outside. It's been raining the past few days, and not, you know what I'm saying. I just want some sun, sunshine. But, um, me and God had a talk. I'm saying, I ain't gonna lie. I haven't been on YouTube like that for a reason. Reason being, cause I kind, he kind of showing me like, man, like, to be honest. People watch YouTube videos. I, I'm speaking from self-experience. I watch YouTube videos all day, feeling some type of way, right? Instead of being some type of way. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Doing all that, watching videos don't make you righteous, bro. Watching videos about the rapture don't make you righteous. What make you righteous is doing the right thing, man. Somebody disrespect you, turn the other cheek. You don't gotta, you don't gotta win that argument. You don't gotta do all that. That's what you've been showing me, like. I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes you're gonna get tempted and God he ain't gonna he'll he get on me fast. He'd be like, that's how you know how I feel about it. And I'd be like, and he tell me, he he tell me like by no means what they doing is right. But you my child. You gotta act like they can act like they they can act like their father. You gotta act like your father too. So with that, I'm learning, I'm learning like I'm learning I gotta act like my dad. They acting like they dad, and I'm getting mad because they acting like they dad. But I got to act like my dad. I got to act like all the God. But at the end of the day, with people, like, I ain't going to lie. When you acting when you acting that way for God, people kind of take it, take it like, all right, all right, he weak. When you can easily, you know you can easily be dominant. You know you can, you can easily just, you know what I'm saying, try to make it even. But God, how you was talking to me about it, he said, I know it feel like you're trying to make it even. It feel like you're trying to make it right. But it's going to turn out even more uneven than it was before. That's kind of how he told me about it. Like, you can't do that, man. Like, but my anger sometimes, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't rage a lot. I don't get loud when I get mad. I'm very quiet. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't tell people like I'm mad. I, I, try, I try to ball it up and leave it alone. But God, he always addresses it. He addresses every feeling, every emotion I have. I know. I know, I know, I, I'm, I ain't looking the best, but I'm just on here talking for my soul. Like I ain't really care about the picture like that. I'm just, I love talking to you guys. I don't really care about how I look. I don't care about. I tell you, I like, I tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying the truth be ugly. <laughs> the truth is, I'm dark skinned You feel me? But I don't. But back to the subject, like with people and all. I ain't gonna lie. Like he, like I, I'm transitioning into a grown man. Like it's, it, I know I look grown. I may look grown. I may look young however I look. But mentality wise, I'm transitioning to a grown man because at the end of the day, it's it's grown people, grown people who act like kids. You know what I'm saying? So he teaching me like mentality wise, like I gotta be a man. I, I ain't no thug, I ain't none of that. I'm a man, bro. Yeah, I ain't gotta worry about none of that stuff unless not somebody put their hands on me. So I'm just learning, bro. Like I'm learning, bro, that in heated situations, you gotta be your father's child, bro. And you're gonna be somebody's dad. You gonna be some somebody gonna be the daddy. You gonna be it's either gonna be God or it's gonna be the devil, bro. So you gotta act like, I ain't gonna lie. Like being somebody up, that's the devil's kid, bro. You know what I'm saying? Wanting to hurt somebody, that's something the devil would do, bro. Yes, God, God, but God's righteous, bro. Like God or God would never tell God, why would God tell somebody besides the old testament? Why would Jesus tell somebody to do that? You feel me? But he just teaching me to be his kid, bro. He's teaching me to act right. I'm walking around right now. Cause I had I had I had to invent these emotions out because when I ball stuff in, it just turned out worse. So I ain't gonna lie, God kinda be my counselor. Cause I I'm the type of person I won't say nothing. I just I I'll disappear. I won't talk to you for no more. I won't talk to you no more, I won't say nothing to you no more. I just disappear. Like I won't I won't I won't raise you on nobody. I refuse to because I I don't want to be that person. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know what I'm capable of, and I would never want to be that. I want, that's evil, bro. Like doing that would be it would make me evil, bro. So like, God kind of helping me out with that. Like, I guess my mama called it passive aggressive. You know what I'm saying, but I, I just, I just know that. I know that God won't want me to carry myself a certain way. You know what I'm saying. So with that, I know, I know, Jesus, Jesus love me, bro. He don't want me to put my hands on nobody. He don't want me to try to kill nobody. He don't want me to do none of that. I ain't going to say I'm going to kill nobody. Like, I understand, like, mentality-wise, he don't want me to do none of that. He don't want me to be violent at all. He don't want me, he want me to be 
his kid, bro. So I ain't gonna lie, when you out in the out and about in the world, cause you know what I'm saying, everybody can talk and talk, bro. But really walking the walk is different, bro. We out about in the world and people trying you the devil's demons will literally try you. Like people talk about when you go in like of course you're gonna have common sense, like I'm a man of God, bro. I ain't gonna you ain't, you ain't gonna catch me in no club on no bar drinking, bro. That's just not me, right? But at the end of the day, even when you just out about buying groceries or something, you don't get caught, bro. For real. They don't, they, they gonna try they gonna try to like mentality you don't get tested, bro. You don't get tried like fire, bro. And God gonna see if you're gonna come out like gold or you're gonna you gonna fold under pressure. So really it's it's just it's just a question like does anybody else ever had these experiences, you know? When your faith get tried in, in public or something like that, and you gotta remember who you, your dad is. I'm saying if y'all ever do, I would love to hear a story, man. It would I ain't gonna lie, no matter how big this community is, what what y'all say and what y'all do on this channel do matter, bro. It ain't gonna lie. If it don't, if y'all say it don't matter, no way it matters to me, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, these when y'all talk, y'all, I see people say talk. I should be saying talking, but when I'm interacting with y'all, I love interacting with y'all and knowing that I'm speaking to people, bro. Cause like doing this, like I'm, I know I'm talking on. It's like this is a camera, bro. This is not, you know, what I'm saying a person. But but like like really, I know that. I know like. I know I mean I know I ain't the only one. I know someone out there, someone somewhere out there is dealing with the same thing, man. Like you know what I'm saying? Dealing with the devil's kids, bro. And you gotta restrain yourself because you know who your dad is. So really, man, y'all gonna see God shape me into a man of God. You know what I'm saying he got big. He be talk. He be saying like he, I got big plans for your life. He be talking like it already happening. I got big plans for your life. Like he said, like he's saying you just like I can't. I can't mess up the plans. Like when I get mad or when I get ready to do something, if I get ready to do some evil, he'll he'll let remind me that I'm messing up his work. Like my life, it's kind of like your life is his work. Like he working in your, on your life, and he like it's like he building a stack of cars. You just knocking it down every time you decide to engage in that. You know what I'm so it's not only he kind of teach me it's not only disrespectful to him, not only disrespectful to him, but it's kind of like. I don't know. It's kind of like messing up your progress. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all, I know this ain't the best recording y'all, but I'm just venting. I'm venting y'all my feelings and emotions. I just wonder if any of y'all dealing with the same thing, man. Like, or, if, or have dealt with the same thing. I ain't gonna lie, when I was in like, another example. When I was in high school, bro, and God was teaching me about lust, girls was just like, on that. Like, they, I ain't gonna lie, it was, it was, it was strange, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't know why people, I don't know why I feel like when you're trying to follow God, you just feel like everybody, it's like the whole world, everybody, everywhere you go, it feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want, I was never the type of try to even talk to girls like that, but when I started trying to do that, when I started trying to just mentally focus on doing that for God, it just felt like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, it felt like, it felt like, I don't know, it felt like you, I was getting pressured somehow. I felt some type of force feeling trying to get me to do something I, I know I wasn't supposed to do. So, I don't know how to explain it, but that's basically that. But I, I just, I'm, I'm just trying to see if there's anybody out there that relate to that. Like, know how I feel like to be tempted, bro. To be tempted to do the wrong thing. Like, be tempted to put your hands on somebody. Be tempted to, you know what I'm saying? Or even just cut somebody back out. You know what I'm saying? Say something back to somebody, even though you know you shouldn't. You know God wouldn't want you doing that. If God, if God saw you doing that and you ask yourself, would you be proud of that? You'd probably say no. You know what I'm saying? So, with that, like, I know, I know, I know, I know I'm kind of rambling on and stuff, but I just, I just be wanting people to talk to, bro. I ain't, brothers and sisters in Christ, like, there's not that people, many people that follow God like that. I know it seems like, but, like, in dense areas, it's not, and I know people go to church for that and stuff, bro, but, I'm saying, I don't know. I don't really know. Y'all kind of my church. We are the church, bro. Ain't no, church ain't no building, bro, but... Besides that, y'all, I love y'all, man, for real. Sister Latrice, Brother Jeffrey. Um, all y'all, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's a somebody who name who start with a K, and I don't want to pronounce your name wrong. I got it in the back of my head, but I ain't gonna try. I don't wanna do that, bro. I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna get your name down. But I love y'all guys, for real, man. I hope y'all have a blessed day.
you know what I'm saying? If anybody else dealt with temptation, I'd love to hear your story and love how you overcame it. Or overcame that one temptation. You may not overcame all of them, but you know I'm saying I would love to hear a victory, bro. Victory is I ain't gonna lie, it's encouraging because if I go back to it, I ain't gonna lie, the reason it's encouraging is because like I may go through another temptation, right? Temptation to be violent or back to somebody or you know what I'm saying, disrespect somebody back. And I can go back to this video and look how brother um how sis or sis, how sister Latrice overcame her temptation, her temptation, or you know what I'm saying, or somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And I'll look at it and be like, man, like they can do it, I can do it too. You know what I'm saying? They're a person just like me. So I would love for y'all to just tell me y'all story, bro. I'm gonna read them all, I'm gonna heart them all, respond to them all, you know what I'm saying? And I read all read every comment, bro. And besides that, y'all, I love y'all for real, man. I hope y'all have a blessed day. No matter how big or small, this this is not, you know what I'm saying, this is a real community. Uh, which is why I'm trying to get y'all to talk because it's a real community. I ain't really out here to get big on YouTube like that. I'm really here to help people, bro. I'm not out here. I don't care about no YouTube stuff. I don't care about no no subscribers or none of that. I want y'all to know God, bro. That's it. I ain't, I, I ain't on here for no other reason. I love y'all guys. Be blessed. In Jesus' my name. Amen.